اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد حسبنا الله ونعم الوكيل نعم المولى ونعم النصير أعوذ بالله من الشيطان اللحين الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين سيدنا ومولانا أبي القاسم محمد وعلى آله الطيبين الطاهرين المعصومين لا سيما بقية الله العظم روحي وارواه العالمين له الفدع رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي امري واهل لقطه من لساني يفقهوا قولي Today's topic symptoms of low faith A lot of times we see ourselves lacking the zeal and the vigor of being a muslim and submitting to islam and doing what Allah has asked us to do Sometimes we feel like that and sometimes we lack that when these times when we see that we are on the low ebb and the low end of fate we need to first recognize what are the symptoms of having low fate and what are the ways of improving it so today we are going to talk about symptoms that your fate is running low and let's get started with that we are going to mention 10 symptoms for you to recognize whether your faith is running low if you see these symptoms in you then it means that you need to check your faith and you need to do something to improve your situation how you can improve your situation will come later but right now let's go to this problem of having our faith running low and not feeling and not doing the things for Allah and for the purpose of our creation the way we are supposed to do 10 symptoms number 1 let's start right away the first symptom that you see that your faith is running low is that you are sinning without fear yes sin without fear people sin and sometimes they might do a lot of sin and they will repent for it they ask istighfar and forgiveness for it from Allah but when a person starts to sin a lot and repeat those sins and consistently sins any sin when he consistently starts to do the sin and repeat those sins over and over again then the ugliness of that sin disappears from his heart He doesn't see the sin as something bad or evil or disgusting. He looks at it as something normal, something okay. And when he reaches this point, it means that he is running low on faith. His faith has become low. It's only when your faith has gone down that you regard sin as okay and you don't see the ugliness of sins. and you go on in regard to that in hadith of the prophet where he says that all of my ummah will be forgiven all my followers will be forgiven except those who openly sinned and in open sin it is also the same case if the person has sinned at night and then revealed to the people in the morning and revealed his sin exposed himself and told about his sin in the morning in the day to the people that I did this last night that is also people who are not going to be forgiven because when Allah is hiding your sin you should be giving you the time to see the disgusting thing that you have done so that you can repent for it but if you opened it to the people and if you have uh, said it out loud with pride that you have done this then it means that the faith has gone low so first symptom of faith being low second symptom of faith being low is hard hearted and callous a person whose heart is hardened one of the signs of weak faith that we see 
uh, is that a person feels that his heart has become hardened and uh, it's like a rock nothing uh, you see that he doesn't get affected by anything Allah mentions this state of a human being in one of the ayat of the Quran in Surah Baqarah ayat number 74 he says Tumma qassad qulubukum min ba'di dhalika fahiya kal hijarati aw ashaddu qaswa he said that uh, then your hearts have hardened after that and, and, and like the stone, like stones, but harder than the stones. Stones can be broken into, rocks can be broken into, but your heart is so hard that nothing goes into it. And that is when a person doesn't get affected by advice. Even if he sees advice around him, it doesn't affect him. How much advice and how much admonition and lessons we are being taught every day. And every day we see it. Death is a lesson from Allah. It's an admonition from Allah uh, to let us know that that death that happened to my neighbor or to my relative or to my friend is going to happen to me also. How many of us take that? When a person doesn't get affected by the lessons and the advice that is being given to him, then it means that his heart is hardened. His, his heart is hardened. And it happens because we are running low on faith. This is the second symptom of low faith. The third symptom, and this symptom is because this is what makes you know that your faith is low, uh, is distraction and laziness in worship. In this case, the mind and the senses of the person during the prayer, while he prays, while he recites the Quran, while he makes dua, is scattered. His mind is not there. His heart is not there. He reads the words, he goes through the actions, but he sees himself really not being there. And when you see that in your situation, this is a sign that your faith is running low. The reason that your prayers are like this, sluggish at best, is because a person is running low on faith and it needs to be looked into right away. Allah gives the example of hypocrites who don't have faith, who lack faith and lack Iman. Uh, he gives that example in the Quran in Surah An-Nisa, ayat number 142. He says, When they stand up for prayer, they stand up sluggishly, lazily, just getting through it. Let me just, it's a burden. I just want to get over it. When you have this sort of feeling towards anything that Allah wants you to do, it means that your faith is on the low and you need to do something to improve it. Uh, now, as I said, how do you improve it will come later in some other speech. But today we're just talking about the symptoms of low faith. Let's go forward now. Number four, the fourth symptom uh, that your faith is running low is uh, when a person stops grieving for lost opportunities. People, one of the signs of weak faith is that if the time of worship comes or a good deed um, is lost, the time for it is gone. For example, if like a beggar is begging and we see that it's a chance for us to help someone and you see that it goes away, then a person of low faith will have no qualms about that. Whatever, it doesn't matter. You know, it'll come again. But a person who has faith will grieve and say that, man, I lost this opportunity to do this good deed. I lost this chance to do something good. He feels that, but when a person loses faith, he doesn't grieve over it. He doesn't get upset over it. He's okay with all the good 
opportunities of good deeds coming and going, he feels that it's going to happen. And this attitude runs like this, that, you know what, I, when I grow old, I have time to do all the prayers and to do all the things. This is a sign of a person of low faith, that his faith is weak and it needs help. And if it's not helped, it's going to die. It's going to be destroyed. So that was four. Number five, uh, despair, depression, and bad temperament. Usually due to the weakness of faith, human beings are overcome by situations that seem to carry a heavy burden. And as a result, they sink into themselves in such a way that they're missing something. What I mean is that they just become disillusioned. That now everything, like any small thing, uh, makes them despair. Any small thing makes them lose hope. Any issue that happens in their life, they just blame everyone and that's it. This is a sign of weak faith. You will see that such a person will be upset, will be annoyed, and become disillusioned with the actions of those around him. If someone or does or says anything, you see that they are they lose their mind, they uh, lose their cool, they lose their calm, they get upset, they get angry at the smallest things that are happening around them. And whatever people say, they have these fits, connection fits, just getting upset at everything. This is a sign of a person of low faith because when you don't have faith in Allah, then Really, you do not have understanding of why this is happening. It's only when faith is strong that whatever happens in life, a person sees Allah in whatever happens in his life. But when he doesn't have faith in Allah, that's why he's trying to find something else other than Allah in that situation. And it will always lead to despair and disillusionment. So this is the fifth thing. That's why uh, we have hadith from the prophet who said that faith is patience and uh, dignity, self-respect, meaning uh, samaha. It means to maintain your dignity. It is a sign of faith that a person, no matter what situation he is in, no matter what hardship he is going through, you will see that such a person is going to maintain himself knowing that Allah, you're in charge. You're in charge of this. If you look at Imam Hussein's example on Ashura, you will see that no matter what difficulties are going through, Imam Hussein is like, Allah, you are in charge. You're watching this. You know, I'm calm. And that's why he had that faith. And that faith was the reason why he was calm. Anyone else with the smallest thing will lose themselves. It's a sign of weakness in faith. Number six, sixth factor or symptom of weak faith. Not being upset and angry at dis disrespect to Allah's commands. Yes, another complication that arises from weakness of faith is the fact that person loses the zeal of faith in his heart and then you see that he just starts to deny I mean, he just starts to get oblivious and shows it comes into the state of apathy uh, and when he when you see for example uh, people doing sin he doesn't mind it's okay sin is happening if you see someone doing wrong or saying something wrong, it's okay. If someone comes to you and does ghibat and backbites, you don't say anything. It's okay. This is a sign that a person has lost his faith, that his faith is running low. Because faith cannot uh, let wrong happen in front of it and remain quiet. Silence in front of 
disobedience to Allah's law, disrespect to Allah's law cannot be tolerated by faith. So if we are tolerating uh, wrong happening, it means that we are lacking faith and we do not have faith. This is the sixth symptom. I'm just going through these symptoms fast so that it can be noted down for us. Each of these could be explained. Seventh symptom that a person is lacking faith or his faith is running low. Seventh symptom, not being affected by the verses of the Quran. Yes, the Quran, Allah says that it, if it was revealed in the mountains, the mountains will crumble against the, the truth and the weightiness of the Quran. This is Allah, the creator, who's talking to us. So when a person reads it or hears it or listens to it and doesn't get affected by it, he sees it and says whatever, this is a sign that a person is lacking faith, that he's low on faith. And if he doesn't improve it, he is going to be destroyed. If the Quran is not having an effect on you, really, a person of weak faith does not change from reciting and hearing the verses of the Quran about the Day of Judgment, about Allah's promises. You know, when you hear about a promise that Allah made to the believers, to the unbelievers, and you're like, not affected by it, it means that you're lacking Iman or your Iman is running low. And it's time to improve, to do something to improve that. That was number seven. Seventh symptom that you have this disease. Eighth symptom, the eighth symptom, we're gonna mention 10 today. Eighth symptom that your faith is running low, neglecting reverence in supplication. The weakness of faith causes a person to neglect the dhikr of Allah, the remembrance of Allah, and dua. We, and even if he makes dua, it's difficult. Even if he takes the name of Allah, it's difficult for him. In fact, if he starts a dua, he just wants to finish it. You know, let's get over it. It's hard for him to go through it. It's hard for him to hear the azan. When the azan is going on, he feels like, oh, just he cannot handle it. This sense of not wanting to hear or listen to Allah's dhikr being uh, said and Allah's name being taken is a sign that a person is lacking faith. Because faith, it gets life by remembering Allah. That's how it becomes alive. And, and and wherever faith is, it it's like uh, the dhikr of Allah, the remembrance of Allah is like water for it. It needs it. So when a, a person doesn't want to uh, hear Allah's name, he is tired of listening to Allah's name, it means that there's no faith in him. And he's learning low on faith. This is a... Uh, one should be afraid of such a situation that Allah has considered it as one of the characteristics of the munafiqeen, of the hypocrites. He mentions this uh, in uh, Surah Nisa, ayat number 142, uh, where he mentions regarding uh, the hypocrites. He mentions, he says, one of the symptoms, he says, Wala illa They don't remember Allah, only a little bit. And that little bit is only when they're in trouble. When they're in like hardship or trouble or some tragedy happens, they remember Allah only for a minute. That too, only for a moment. And as soon as they're able to overcome the tragedy and they have their grasp on the situation, then Allah's remembrance is gone. This is how it is, my friends. Sign of a person who doesn't have faith. A, a symptom is that uh, he uh, doesn't like the name of Allah to be taken around him. Ninth symptom, that a person is running low on faith. 
rejoicing in the defeat, loss, and calamity of Muslims. When a person becomes a Muslim, then he joins a team, a, a you know, this group, which is Hezbollah. And Hezbollah is what Allah says in the Quran, you know, that people who belong to Allah. So when a person joins Muslims, then this becomes his team. For him, his success and failure is tied to the success and failure of the whole. And hence, whenever, uh, if a Muslim is a true Muslim and has faith, then whenever he sees Muslims succeed or do good, there is happiness that comes out of him. And, and, and he thanks Allah for this victory, for this gain, for this ni'mat and blessing. And then, or on the other hand, if he sees Muslims lose or or something wrong happens to Muslims or they're laughed at or they're being ridiculed and he feels joy for it, he feels happy about it. This is a sign that a person has lost his faith, that he's running low on faith. That when you see Muslim brothers in trouble, people who believe in Allah in trouble or being hurt, then faith cannot rejoice in that. That's lack of faith that rejoices in that. And that's why uh, if this is a sign, uh, the famous hadith of Rasulullah that says, Man asbaha uh, he says that anyone who uh, wakes up in the morning and does not and is not concerned about the affairs of his Muslim brothers, he is not a Muslim. And then in the second part, he says, Woman same a rajulan yunadi yalil muslimin falam yajibhu falaysa be Muslim. He says, When he hears a person who calls out to his Muslim brothers and say, oh, Muslims, and does not go forward to help him, he's not a Muslim. He has nothing to do with faith. He has lost his faith. How can it be that if your brother is asking for help and you don't help him? This is a sign that a person has lacked. He lacks faith right now. His faith is running low. So this is the ninth symptom of low faith. Let's go to the last tenth symptom, the last one that we'll mention today. Symptoms of low faith and that your faith is running low. Lack of sense of responsibility towards religion. Yes, weak faith causes man not to strive to serve religion and spread religious beliefs and values. A person who becomes Muslim has made a deal with Allah that he now is going to dedicate his life and his services for Allah and in return for that, Allah is going to give him Jannat and place him in Jannat in his mercy and Rahmat on the day of judgment and after in the hereafter. That is the deal that's been made. So a person who has faith here has dedicated his life for Allah, you know, to the worship of Allah and to feel uh, responsibility towards Allah's deen so that I am responsible now for Allah's deen that I want to give that the idea of homes is that the idea of zakat is that to give for a charity to enhance Allah's cause people who have that sense of responsibility that I need that's wajib then that's only wajib more than that we should do for Allah's cause you know, we see something happening to Allah's deen that it can help Allah's deen. This is where a faith is going to go there and take part in that. No matter what cause it is for Allah's sake, for Islam, that sense of responsibility is very important if a person has faith. And if you don't feel that sense of responsibility, you feel that faith is being ridiculed or, or, or being laughed at or being assaulted, then, and if a person doesn't feel responsibility to defend it, then it means that he's lacking 
faith. And his faith is on the low. This is, my friends, 10 symptoms I mentioned to you regarding a person whose faith is weak. If we see that we have these symptoms in us and that we see that we are uh, showing these symptoms, then it is time to do something about that to make sure that we can improve it and help ourselves and make that faith stronger. We will mention that in another episode and another show to say how can we improve our faith and enhance our faith later. But inshallah, this will help us to do some self-diagnosis for ourselves. Uh, thank you for tuning in. May Allah bless you all. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد